All right, this review is gonna be on this 200 watt portable solar panel. Now I think most people are gonna use this solar panel for like a scenario. You could maybe use this for an emergency. I am gonna show this hooked up to, right here's my Blue Eddy. I'm trying to actually kill the battery a little bit. Uh, I do have it down one bar. So I'm gonna show this plugged into right here. This is my chest freezer. So I'm gonna power my Blue Eddy with this 200 watt solar panel just to keep my chest freezer going, just to show like an emergency. So you could use it for an emergency. You could use this, I think this would be really awesome for like tailgating, if you wanted to take like, if you had a power station like the small Blue Eddy I have here, or you could even get a smaller one. I mean, it works on many, many different portable power stations. Definitely could use this like if you had like a little van camper or for any small camper or big camper for that matter, it doesn't really matter. It definitely is gonna keep some stuff charged up. I really like this just for the portability factor of it. It's very portable. Most of these little portable solar panels are only like 100 watts. This one's 200 watts, which I think is perfect just for this little Blue Eddy that I have. It's IP65 rated, so that's pretty much means it's gonna be like water resistant, dust proof. I don't think I'd let this out in like a pouring down rain. Not really a big deal because you're not gonna make hardly any power if it's pouring down rain anyway. So let me show you what does come with it. I think I took down my Blue Eddy power just enough. So we'll be able to test this out because I want to see this putting power into that at the same time pulling power out of that to keep my freezer going. So let's, let me show you what does come with this. I mean, first of all, it does have this really nice handle. Yeah, it has a really nice handle, so it's, it's nice and portable. You should be able to kind of grab it, go, throw it in your truck, throw it in your car. Everything that does come with it fits in this nice little pouch. I will show you that you can plug just this piece into it and it has right here, has US, two USB ports and a USB-C ports. So without putting this on my power station, I can actually just charge something like a cell phone or I'm gonna show you charging up this little power power block here that I got or whatever you guys call these things. And it does come with this piece. This is gonna be something that I would connect my Blue Eddy up to. And then it does have right here these, this is the, it comes with MC4 connectors already attached to it right here. And you're gonna get about, I measured this. If you connect this cord to to this cord right here, you will get right around 11 feet, an easy 11 feet to connect to like your a power station or something. Now if you want longer, you can buy it, which is what I'm gonna do. I have some more cord that you can probably hook to it, but that didn't come with it. And it does come with all these different connectors. There are 10 different ones. I have one on there already. So it will go on my Blue Eddy. So pretty much it's probably gonna connect to almost any little power station like this Blue Eddy I have. And actually it has 11 different connectors because there's one already on it. All right, these are some of the specs right here. But that right there is the specs. I'm gonna take this out my driveway and show you this all unfolded. Now you can put this at also different angles so you can get the best efficiency out of the solar panel with the sun. I will give, I'm gonna show you a trick so you can, so you'll know when your solar panel is also at the correct, the, the most perfect angle you can have it at, at least at that point in time, because the sun kind of keeps moving. I can't stop the sun. So I will show you that trick. Let's get this thing all unfolded, it's real easy. Then we can prop it up. And unfold all these little legs. Like that. This is how I find out if I have the perfect angle. I just take like a little cap off of a paint can or any cap like this. And I'll lay that against the solar panel. And actually this is pretty good. If you lay that cap down like that, and you can see hardly zero shadow. If that was like, it's hard for you to see it, but you know what I mean? If you put that there and there's no shadow around that cap, 
that means the sun is coming perfectly shining straight at it. Right now it's looking like it's set up really, really good. So let me show you this charging my cell phone quick and that little power block there. And then we'll move on to the freezer. Plug these MC4 connectors in. You can't mess this up. Okay, now we should have power in this little block. Oh, there's even little green lights on. Hopefully you can see these green lights lit up. Let's see. I have that, the, the USB-C plugged into it and let's plug it into my phone. There's so, it's showing charging. I can see the little lightning bolt right up there in the top of my phone. You guys can see that. Plug in the USB. USB. That. And I'm going to plug in this little power block. There you go. It's showing that charging. It's blinking. It's blinking 97% right now. Like I said, this is kind of an overcast day. And you're never going to get exactly 200 watts, not on any panel. Let's plug this in. That's awesome. That's awesome. Look at that. Holy. Can you see that? That is putting 160, 165 watts into that thing. That's awesome. I'm really, I'm really happy with that. That thing is gonna charge that fast. Now let me unplug this freezer. And I'm gonna plug the freezer in. I don't know if you guys can see. You just gonna have to trust me, the power button is right there, green lit up. As soon as I unplug it, that should go out. Definitely the power light went out. I'm going to plug that into the plugs are in the back of this blue eddy. Plug that in. There we go. And my AC power is on. Oh, the, yep, the freezer is back on. Now I'm pulling, it's hard to see, okay, about 88 watts is coming out and 164 is going in. So I could easily, with the sun, with the sun out, I can easily run this freezer all day long with the sun out. That is really, really cool. I love it. With this 200 watt solar panel, I can power this and power my freezer all day long and I think in a, in a power outage, when the sun goes down, I think I would just maybe even unplug this so I don't keep pulling this power out or, or maybe, I don't know, just, you'd have to kind of watch it, let it go. You might be able to let it go for a couple hours, but these freezers will go all night if you don't open and close the door. So I definitely 100% think this would be really good for something like this freezer. And I could probably run my my fridge freezer in my house if I wanted to also. All right, like I said, I'm gonna let this go for a couple hours and I just wanted to know if you, you notice there's only four bars showing on that and it has five bars. So we'll see if in a couple hours this actually goes up to five bars, even with me pulling around 80 watts out using that 200 watt solar panel. So there's the MC4 connectors. Just show you still, follow that cord. Goes out, 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 and right out there's the panel. Works really nice. You could put this wherever you want. Sit it. I could stick it on top of my tonneau cover on my truck, or connect it on the side of my camper, or whatever. All right, it's only been like an hour and a half, 
and it's actually got my Blue Eddy fully charged because it's not showing any power going in anymore. But I do have, still have 88 watts coming out, so it's kind of just keeping it right at pretty much full battery. So that's definitely awesome. I'm gonna let it go for another hour and a half, two hours, and I'll let you know what it looks like then. All right, that 200 watt solar panel has been charging my Blue Eddy for, I don't know, a good four or five hours now. And the sun has changed its angle a little bit, so now it's only putting in, uh, it was, was just showing about 112 watts as 108 watts. Now, I could go out there and just move the solar panel around a little more, I'm sure, and still get back that around 150 to 180 watts. But it's definitely still got this pretty much fully charged. All five bars are going up. Like, do you remember in the beginning there, I only had four bars going up. I highly recommend this solar panel. It's definitely going to work awesome for, like, if I had a power outage and I had to keep that freezer going for an entire day, probably even a couple days. Uh, definitely work really, really good for, like, a tailgating or a camping. Um, but very nice, very easy, very portable. Highly recommend this solar panel. I think you guys would like it.